Hello Leo, welcome to your Elemental Love Reading. This is going to be for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in partnership with other fire signs, so Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Please know that these messages are intended to be timeless, so if you, when you find yourself here, it's when you were intended to hear these messages. Do know that it will still be a general message, so it will not resonate with everybody out there. Okay, if it does, leave what doesn't. Don't try to make anything fit. Check your own moon, rising, Venus signs for additional messages or get a comprehensive overview. And last but not least, never make any life-altering decisions based off of a general reading because not all the informations or energies would be available to you in a general reading. That being stated, cross-watchers are welcome, but do know that my main focus and intent will be on Leo. But you can feel free to swap the roles if it resonates better with you. All right, so one last announcement. I have started bonus readings, and it's based off of the amount of views and likes of the previous week's elemental love re re reading. Excuse me. So, for example, last week, Leo, you had the most views, so I did a bonus reading for Leo, and I was guided to do that with for Leo and Aquarius. So, if you would like another chance, be sure to view these videos and give a, a thumbs up. All right, I'm pulling your oracle cards now, and then we'll be taking a look at your past, present, and future energy for you, your person, and the shared energy between you. Okay. Leo, let's go ahead and get this started. Wisdom. Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So some of you may be facing a challenge at this time, and you are being called to rely on your inner wisdom. Very, very beautiful. And we have bold. Unleash your venturous side, take risks, and be daring. So this is really going after what you want, being bold and capturing your, you know, desires, your hopes, your dreams, your goals. And we have fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely. And last but not least, release your worries and receive universal abundance. Very beautiful. All right, Lee. Now let's go ahead and take a look at your past energy. You have the Five of Cups. So this is being in that place of grief, of sadness, of loss and difficulty. Focusing on what was spilt, what was lost here, not seeing what still remained to be built. Your person has your card, Leo's strength. This is being in control of your thoughts, your emotions, your environment, both internally and externally. Being bold, being courageous, and knowing when to exert your strength or strength. Very, very beautiful. Or this could be simply them having you or thinking about you. Shared energy between you, the Seven of Wands. So I can see this as many different things. The Seven of Wands is a card of perseverance and determination. This could also mean that you both were kind of standing your ground, being defensive. Um, this could also indicate that, that your path forward was being blocked from lessons that needed to be learned here. Okay, so current energy, you have the Three of Pentacles. This is willing to put in the work, work on a project, a situation, come up with a solution to a problem. This is willing to work as a team player. This could also indicate, you know, recognition for the work that you have put into a situation they have the Page of Swords, so this is seeking truth and knowledge, or wanting to speak, communicate some truth. The shared energy in between you, the Nine of Cups, so this is wish fulfillment, this is happiness, and love, and both life, job, family, it's very beautiful energy, this is a card of giving, and receiving, and charity. 
future energy coming in for you, Leo. You have the full, so this is a brand new beginning, a new start. The fool's journey is, you know, not knowing how things are going to turn out, but having blind faith and taking that leap of faith. And your partner, they have the lovers. Very, very beautiful twin flame. Soulmate energy for some. Others, this is making a decision in regarding to, uh, to love. Gemini energy. Shared energy between you, the three of wands. Yes, this is looking towards the future. No longer focused on the past, but what, seeing what lies ahead. Very nice. <clears throat> Overall energy, the moon. So I get the sense of, you know, there's a bit of confusion, some fogginess, not being able to see a path forward at this time. This is kind of, you know, this is Cancer Pisces energy, but this is really, you know, kind of our, our shadow side, our fears, our doubts, our worries, kind of louding things up, not being able to see a clearer path, not being able to see things clearly at this time, and hidden energy at the bottom of the deck, the world. So this is the completion of a hard cycle and a beginning of a new one. Very, very beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarifications on this for you, Leah. Let's please clarify the cards on the table for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and partnership with a fire sign, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Why is the Five of Cups here for Leo, Plus Energy? The Emperor, Divine, Masculine Energy coming through. And the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like... You know, this could be an Aries that you were in partnership and, you know, you feel a loss. There was some situation that happened where maybe you, you separated, you broke up. You know, there's definitely heartbreak and pain, yes. That feeling of rejection being left out in the cold. Maybe a lack of stability and somebody walked away from it or an offer was made and somebody walked away from this offer. Okay. Why is strength here? For Leo's person. Thank you. The Ten of Wands. So this is person was very stressed out. I, again, I get the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like there was a offer for a passionate new beginning, a new beginning, a new chance here. And this person was really stressed out. And I don't feel like they were very much in control of themselves, Leo, or you made the offer and it stressed them out. Yeah. And they went all Queen of Swords and cut you out. And this, you know, brought about the tower, chaos, confusion, upheaval. All right, so what is this Seven of Wands? Shared energy here between the two. What is the Seven of Wands here? Thank you. The Eight of, the eight of Wands. So I feel like, yeah. There was a sense of defensiveness here, and somebody walked away. There was love. This was, you know, this, but I get the sense that this needed to happen because there was something that needed to be learned here. A decision had to be made. A hard decision, not an easy one. It had to be hard. Okay, so why is the three of pentacles, temperance? Deep balance and healing. Yeah, you're at a place where you're you're trying to bring balance to yourself after this heartbreak and pain. Some of you could be dealing with a third party situation where somebody was just kind of meddling in this connection, not necessarily an infidelity, but for some this was somebody meddling where they were not supposed to be, and you're trying to heal from that, bring things back into balance. For others of you, this is a sense of wanting to work together, wanting to heal this heartbreak and pain, this and, and this loss. And bring things to a healthier place. Back into balance is what I'm getting. Okay, so why is the Page of Swords here? For Leo's person. Current energy, please. Thank you. Okay, we're getting the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. So they're seeking some truth. They're feeling stuck and, out, again, out of balance. They're kind of got this juggling energy trying to stay balanced through chaos. Regarding, you know, there's that passion, new start, there's that decision that needs to be made in love, and they're feeling unhappy and discontented with the Four of Cups here. 
there's something that has yet not to be revealed for this person. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Current shared energy. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Chariot card of Cancer, wanting to move things forward to a place of being happy and away from heartbreak and pain. And there again, there's that Queen of Cups needing to follow intuition. There's definitely love in this situation. And the Wheel of Fortune is turning, so there is a sense of timing and a new beginning. But there is this tower still and the Page of Swords. So I feel like their person is still going through some tower moments. And they're seeking out truth and they need to communicate. They're internally conflicted, but they're looking for stability. All right, so why is the Fool here future energy for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? Why is the Fool here for Leo? And the Nine of Wands, the Devil at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm seeing this two different ways, Leo. For some of you, there you know, has been in a toxic attachment where you've had, you know, been wounded and feeling, you know, defensive. I feel like you're coming out of that. You're going to take a leap in a new direction toward and when it comes to love. You're going to make a decision that's going to bring you more stability. It's going to give you this passionate new beginning, this new start. Okay, why is the lovers here? For Leo's person. Future energy coming in. Why is the lovers here? Injustice. Okay. The seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there is a sense of divine timing. This is, you know, waiting to seek growth and having to be patient. And this is, we have justice coming through with the lovers. So somebody's making a decision in love that's going to be fair and balanced here. Where maybe it was not before, where there was not growth. You know, we have that Queen of Swords and the King of King of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So this person put a lot of work and effort into themselves. They have a lot of love for you. They're no longer going to tolerate things that are not going to serve their highest potential. But they've had to be patient through this process. And they really had to bring things into balance and, be, and make a fair and just decision. All right. So what is the Three of Wands shared energy between Leo and Leo's person? Three of Wands, please clarify the Three of Wands for Leo. Page of Swords, yeah. There's now looking at towards the future, no longer focused on the past. past. Both of you are speaking your truths about Nurse and Empress. So we have the Emperor and the Empress showing up. So this is a very strong connection. But the Empress is about new beginnings, creation nurturing energy here that she embodies the energy of all four queens that's not what i'm feeling is this is a brand new beautiful beginning after a truth being spoken and again persevering over this whole entire situation getting that acknowledgement that's needed to overcome the toxicity again making analytical and logical uh choices instead of emotional and that is going to bring about overall abundance of happiness this is the ten of cups that's that joy overflowing of happiness, of love, of bliss in all aspects of your life. Very nice. Moving away from energy that doesn't serve and renewal and love. And wish, wish fulfillment being granted from the universe. But again, this is really focusing on the future, not on the past. Speaking your truths. Both of you being honest and creating a new beginning here. Alright, so why is the moon here? Overall energy. Passionate messages coming through. So... If there's been confusion, yeah, secrets are going to be revealed here. There's something passionate communication is going to happen. And it's going to clear up any type of confusion and fogginess. You're going to be able to see the path forward from that point. Why is the world here? The Four of Wands. So a, a completion cycle at leads to stability and to Ten of Cups. Very, very, very beautiful. I love it. All right, let's get some Moonology cards here just to get a feel for your energy currently, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, current energy, please. 
emotions are running high. We have the super moon. Very beautiful. And you are good enough. So if you've been doubting yourself, Leo, the only reason to doubt, there's serious telling you, you are definitely good enough. All right, where is this Leo's person energetically at this time? Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Yes, yeah. Meditate and contemplate. So this person needs to take a time out, meditate, and really do some thinking and communicate. And at the bottom of the deck, you guys have, have faith in your dreams. Very, very beautiful. All right, let's get a couple of romance angels on this for you, Leo. And then we will get you on your way. Very beautiful reading. When we have the Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and partnership or seeking partnership with a fire sign. Okay. Just we have for Leo. Okay. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like some of you are already in separation, so that does not come as any shocking surprise. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. True love. This is, a, is the romance of a lifetime. Very beautiful. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And last but not least, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah, don't try to force anything. Let things happen as they are intended. All right, Leo, that is all I have for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope it opened your eyes and helped you get a little bit of clarification. Let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Please take care. Stay safe. And remember to live in love and love and light, not just today, but every day. Mm -hmm. Bye.